we have got a pretty big day to download here. Um, you know, we have the LR EZA Prime Battle Trunks, who actually I'm, I'm a little bit unimpressed by, um, because he does not, um, stack his finishing blow buff, so it seems a bit mid in comparison to, like, uh, Frieza and stuff like that. The Dokkan Fest Trunks seems a little bit wonky, um, but we have these two EZA units. We have Android 13, and we also have Android 14 and 15. Um, I think I, I actually probably might just do just, just the one video for both of them right here, because it's like... They pretty much have to be used together to be really effective, right? Uh, it, it's very similar to the future androids where, you know, using both of them on the, like one rotation is basically the only way you're going to use them and get major value out of them. So for Android 13 and Androids 14 and 15, it's pretty much the same thing where to actually be getting the value out of these two characters, like we, we got to be running them together, right? Um... So, right away, talking about their Link sets, they have Red Ribbon Army, Android Assault, uh, Tough as Nails, uh, Fear and Faith is the next one active, uh, Nightmare, and then Shattering the Limit, right? And then Android 13 has Big Bad Bosses, and then 14 and 15, they have Cold Judgment instead. Now, the two of them working together is going to be very effective because, remember, when 14 and 15 are on a rotation with Android 13, uh, what they're getting is the Scouter effect for the rest of the fight. Um... Android 13 uh, is getting, what, 130% attack and defense against a Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, or uh, Trunks. He gets 130% attack start a turn. He gets 40% damage reduction with eight or more key, which means, unfortunately, that, you know, if an enemy would attack in front of 13, he would not have his damage reduction active, I believe. Um, and then... Goresh told me that the buff is worded the same way as 14 and 15, their scouter effect lasts the whole fight. Well, 13's buff is written the same way. His 70% attack and defense he gets with 14 and 15 in the same turn should be permanent once it's active. So that is good. Um, and then 14 and 15, they honestly, I think both of them were a little bit under tuned. I, I just, these are like pretty limited units, right? Like they're, look at the teams they're on, right? Uh, target Goku, Android, Artificial Life Form, Joint Forces. And then 13 is over here on uh, uh, Target Goku, Movie Bosses, Android, and Artificial Life Form. I see no reason why these couldn't have been in contention for, like, best free-to-play units in the game. Like, really, like, limited teams besides, like, Movie Bosses are the only teams these characters are on. That's where Dokkan, I feel like, sometimes does miss with their design right it's like they get a little bit too antsy in the pantsy when it comes to like super vegeta who's on all these amazing teams but then it's like okay here's android 13 who i really would like to be god because he's his teams really need it and they're like ah, we'll just make him pretty good because that, that's sort of what i'm thinking is that these two are just more so pretty good than anything the other thing too is that so 13 he does stack both attack and defense obviously that's good right um that that will be effective for him in long events for like the android team target goku and stuff like that but 14 and 15, all they do is lower enemy attack and defense. I don't understand why they couldn't have stacked as well. Uh, they get, let's see, 29% attack and defense on super? Okay, that's uh, sure, I guess. They get damage reduction if fusion 13 is in the same turn, but, like, that's going to be pretty rare. The only fusion 13 who's worth a damn at all is this guy right here after he transforms. But he has to actually transform for that to happen. Right? So, I, I don't know. It, it, it's like, these units are, like, they're, they're okay. They're, they're solid little buffs. See, like, 2.89 right there with the damage reduction. His defense is pretty high, honestly. Like, he would have probably taken double-digit damage from a super attack right there. Um, but I, they just need more around them. Like, we would... These two easy units, 13 and then 14 and 15, potentially could be really interesting if... Maybe we had, like, an LR 13, 14, and 15. Maybe if, like, Fusion Android 13 had, like, another Dokkan Fest, right? Like, if those types of things would happen, I feel like that would be a lot more beneficial um, for these characters right here. Because right now, it's like, I... I don't know. Like, if they do a Legendary Frieza event and, like, Artificial Lifeform is one of the teams you need to use, right? Like, using STR Android 13, for sure, could be, could be an option, but... I don't know that they're really going to be, like, uber-dominant. The other thing, too, is that 
Probably like the, the hardest stage in the game that these units are needed, 14 and 15 and 13, would probably be Android Extreme Super Battle Road. But like I look at 13 and it's like his buffs, he gets this 130% attack and defense against Goku, Vegeta, Trunks, or Piccolo. Piccolo was added as part of his EZA, right? Which is cool, it's fine. Um, but that Android Extreme Super Battle Road stage is just a bunch of, like, GT enemies. There's no Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, or Trunks in there, right? So it's like, I feel like that's where these two could be really crazy. I mean, this is... He's... Okay, 13 is looking real good here. Uh, he's at 258k defense, and he's got damage reduction after he attacks. That's pretty strong. Uh, I mean, he's... Uh, this is... We have all of his links active, yeah. So this is all seven links active. Remember that this cell is a pretty powerful support type unit uh, for extreme class units right here. All right, so let's see how we do. Uh, 14 and 15, their attack set, yeah, basically just like 2.5. We'll see them jump up a little bit once uh, Fusion 13 uh, is on rotation with them, which which we'll get once he transforms. Uh, and you're up to 3.5. Ah, 13 looks... He, I mean, he looks pretty good on this turn. He's a free-to-play unit. This is easy double digit. Like, it's not even close. This is, like, double digits by a long shot right there. Like, it's, there's zero chance Goku's doing any damage. So, it's like, you definitely can get some good situations where this 13 is, like, actually invincible, right? I feel like his defense really shot up from the last turn. Um, a lot of that has to be because he had Big Bad Bosses activated, right? Um, the good news about running 13 on a lot of his teams is... Big Bad Bosses is not exactly going to be a difficult link to activate, right? Like, most of the major characters on Movie Bosses have it, for example, except for, like, uh, Broly. Only, like, Broly units really don't have Big Bad Bosses, right? Um, Alright, so here's Fusion 13. Um, in two turns, we'll be able to get him on that turn with 14 and 15. Um, and that, I, I feel like that's where they're going to be really good, right? Because... I see the way they're designed, right? They get the attack buff with 13, but that lasts the entire rest of the fight, no matter what, right? So that way, when, like, 13 would then transform, then they would still have the buff for when 13 was just there, but then they'd also have the additional buff for when Fusion 13 is on the rotation, right? Where they get 30% damage reduction. Uh, they give all allies 30% attack and defense as well. That's a powerful effect, right? All right, so let's see right here. So, yeah, 264. I mean, he's looking good. I Between the two of them, he, I, it, it, these two should have, I think, stacked as well. I, I think that would have helped them. And that would have made this just like a very tight rotation to run uh, in any long content. I think that would have been pretty good. But between the two of them, 14 and 15 are looking substantially worse. Um, I mean, they'll be a lot better with their damage reduction activated. But, again, Fusion 13 is not like... a character you're running ever right because it's only the agl one and you're only going to get that past turn five because fusion 13 transforms on turn five so um 13 is looking good to me um i mean this is of course for this buffs against goku trunks vegeta or piccolo i feel like you probably don't want to run 13 if you're not fighting one of those enemies or it's like a long event where you can really take advantage um, of the fact that you can stack with him, right? Um, at the very least, stacking characters always do have some value, right? Because they're definitely always going to be doing long events, like the Legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball History stages. Those type of stages are always going to be a new thing that's going to be added. Even the collection of epic battles, a little bit, right? Like, the, sometimes the, those, like, the final fight in there could get to, like, turn 7, turn 8, um, even with, like, the ridiculously powerful, like, Frieza and uh, Namek Goku, some of those stages were really sort of carrying on, right? So, all right, here we go. Let's, um, let's see how we're looking on this turn. So, now the support type buff would activate. Yeah, look at the, yeah, look at these two. Both 300k right there. So, uh, 13 has all links activated again. Uh, 14 and 15, they have everything activated except for Cold Judgment, which would give them a lot of defense. Cold Judgment would, right? Um, so now, they're getting, what, 90% attack and defense start a turn. They get their 29% attack and defense on Super. They have the 90% attack and defensive buff that was permanent from 13. And then they're giving all allies 30% attack and defense, and they have 30% damage reduction now that Fusion 13 is there. So I guess, I mean, they're probably going to be 
what, like 180-ish, 175 or something like that, I think. Maybe a little bit higher. Maybe 185, 190 uh, defensively than with the damage reduction. So I want to see how they... Uh, STR 13, would, again, would be at a, like a free double-digit damage from God Goku super attacking right there. I guess you really don't want to discredit the fact that they are giving you um, the... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, they are giving us the scouter effect, which is really big, right? Scouter effect is probably, like, the strongest ability you can get um, that a lot of these characters can do. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really good tanking right there. And then 13 is just going to continue to stack and get stronger and stronger and stronger. All right, well, let me know what you guys are thinking about uh, Android 13 and then 14 and 15. They're easy as together. Um, again, they're, they're definitely stronger, but I, I really feel like they more could have been could have been done right um I, I feel like the teams they're on are just too limited there, there's not a, enough frequent like android buffs to just get like this unit easying and then like kind of hold back a little bit um i think the one thing for 13 i think that i would really like about him was just of his damage reduction like if that was just start a turn i feel like that would help him tremendously and then 14 and 15, I'd want them, I think, to stack. So they'd be lowering enemy attack and defense, good for Super Battle Road, and then also stacking as well. I think that could definitely help them out a lot. Um, I mean, if we got, like, a Fusion 13, who's, like, one of the best units in the game or something like that, that would help both of them out as well. But currently, we don't have that. And, like, this guy is okay. I, I don't... He's not, like, ridiculously crazy, but he also doesn't show up until turn 5 either, right? So let me know what you guys think. Uh, about uh, Android 13's EZA as well as 14 and 15's EZA. Thanks guys for watching and I will catch you guys next time.